guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to talk about so I'm going to do a review today uh, my husband and I went to the movies last night and we saw a movie and that's the movie that I'm going to review um, the name of the movie was the invisible man no on our way he didn't know what the invisible man was about I had already gone on palace amusement website and looked through the trailers and i thought i liked the video so i said okay let's go watch this movie so we went and we watched the invisible man Little pink thing, I saw that I had to me. I say I had like them, I say I had to. You may see the curls, them pretty with the canto. On our way back from the movie, we were reviewing the movie in the car. So I'm just gonna give my opinion on the movie. You guys can tell me what you think when you go and watch the movie. So I'm not going to give away anything. The movie is an awesome movie. I mean, it has a lot, a lot of suspense, but the suspense was worth it. My husband, on the other hand, thought it wasn't worth it and thought the suspense was way too much because he didn't understand what was going on until almost at the end of the movie when everything started to unveil. I would give the movie out of 10, I would give it probably a 8 or a 9 out of 10. It was good for me. Everybody have their preferences. Um, I'm trying to give a review and not give away anything in the movie. So buy the trailer. So I'm going to use the trailer because the trailer is out. Everybody can watch the trailer. So the trailer... So the movie is basically about a woman who is controlled by her husband um, and she makes a plan to leave him so she she left him and he found a way to become invisible and by becoming invisible he sought to torture her and her sister didn't believe her um, a friend that she was staying with didn't believe her because everybody thought she was going crazy because they didn't know um, that somebody could you know make themselves invisible so my husband he was really upset after the movie because he was like they didn't even show anything to say how good of a scientist he was they didn't even show him working on the, the prototype to become an invisible person and so he was a bit lost me on the other hand i i wasn't lost at all because the aim of the movie i guess was to just read between the lines and i read between the lines he was a mad scientist he could create these things he's very rich so that makes sense yeah that he could do something like this because they did say he was a very rich man and he was um i don't remember the exact term they used but in electronics he was one of the best in the world so of course if you're working if you're an electrical engineer and you know you're good at those things it's just a movie and I was saying to him, it's just a movie why you don't think it can happen. And he was like, because they didn't give any hints and all of that. I'm like, the end of the movie was the bomb. The ending of the movie was the bomb. I can't tell you how it ended, but it was the bomb. You need to go watch that movie. I personally would give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10, as I said because for me it was that good i didn't know that he would have turned out that good for me but it was good and i enjoyed it i enjoyed it um so that's the movie i can show you the, the ticket we went and we watched it the invisible man i'm sorry if it's backwards the camera does that so the next movie i'm going to review today is sonic the hedgehog 
Fanny the Hedgehog, let me just say, is a great movie for kids to watch. Um, my son loves Sonic. He loves the game. He loves it on YouTube. So when he saw that, when I saw that a movie came out with Sonic, I was like, Caleb, we are going to watch Sonic. So I took my son to the movies one, I think it was on a Monday night. Yeah, my son, he stays up pretty late. So because I my work ends at five, I didn't want to just, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I chose the late one, but I don't know. But uh, I chose the late one. And Caleb and I went to see Sonic. He didn't sleep throughout the movie at all, so that was great. He was like really into it. And uh, while we're in the movie, let me just say this my son is like the most loving person I know. My son was like, Thank you, mommy, for bringing me to the movies. I love you. And my heart just melted because I always want to do a mother and son type of date, you know, to bring my son out to let him know that mommy can do this for you and all of that that's just me yeah, i love my son and my son loves me anyway so sonic sonic is a kid's movie it's also an adult movie so adults can watch it but i brought my son to, to watch it and it was lovely um as an adult <laughs> i would probably give sonic probably a six or a seven i don't know it was fun and it was fun because it was fun for my son and because it was fun for my son it was fun for me because my son was like cracking up inside the movie he i thought i thought he thought that he was home because caleb got up in the movie standing up laughing and jumping and i'm like caleb no you're not you're in the movies people they better you want to the movie too so i know that kids will enjoy the movie Sonic is about, uh, everybody knows Sonic is a hedgehog in blue, in have super loop, super speed. Um, if he left from like another year or country, whatever that was, and planet, it was a planet. So he had to leave from his planet and come to Earth. So he was hiding on Earth. And then he met this friend and people start want to kill him for power and i mean it was an awesome movie for kids so you guys can take your kids and watch sonic the hedgehog before it's out of theaters because i think it has been in there for probably a few weeks now so you can go and watch it with your kids the next movie is jumanji so jumanji i don't remember the do you think this one is the next level jumanji in the next level this one i didn't watch in the theaters but i watched it at home um it was it was good it was good i mean i have been aching to watch jumanji the next level so and i couldn't wait on going to the theater so i just watched it at home um ratings ratings um i probably give jumanji about seven or eight out of ten i didn't enjoy it that much i mean it was it was good it was lovely but because it wasn't the original set of people in there um right throughout it was good it was good i'll probably give it a seven or eight yeah probably yeah, i'm going with that because um i don't remember his name but the one that acted as um the rock the little boy that acted as the rock or the rock acted as the little boy you know who i talking he his grandfather ended up being in the game and the grandfather's friend ended up being in the game and he ended up going into the game too and he was a girl this time i don't think if that i don't know if that's a blooper but um maybe not he ended up being in the game again and so everybody this time everybody's roles were switched until a point of course but jumanji was okay it was okay i wouldn't take my kids to watch jumanji because they wouldn't understand it jumanji is not like a kid's show it's more like teenagers 
can understand Jumanji, but Jumanji was good too. So you guys can go watch Jumanji before it's out of theaters because I know it's still in theaters. It is the longest running I've ever seen. It is still in theaters. Um, yeah. The other one, I'm looking at my paper because I wrote them down. So the other movie that we went to watch, Babe and I went to watch this. Um, we went and we watched Bad Boys for Life. No, my friend went and she watched it with her husband. And she she thought it was an awesome movie. She thought it was an awesome movie. Um, for me, it was alright. It was okay. From the look on my face, you can tell that all the hype that was going on over Bad Boys for Life. I didn't get it. It wasn't that all that good. Um, I mean, it was good to see Will Smith and that guy there. I don't even remember their name. It was good to see them acting together again. But the joke them did stiff, man. I never get the joke. I mean... You always go movies and hear people and laugh over some joke with no connect. Sometimes me, sometimes I'm that person me and I laugh because if it's funny, make a laugh to me, but it's not everybody can get the joke. And majority of the joke them in the show, very stiff. I never get them none at all. I couldn't laugh. I mean, I laugh a few times because babe said I was in there cracking up and he never did get it. I mean, but I laugh when things are funny, but not all the jokes. I got but bad boy for life um probably a five or a six it never all that it wasn't all that and I don't think the acting was all that either sorry will I just didn't get it uh -oh. bad boy for life so yeah you can go and see it in theaters I mean if you want something to watch that is funny it depends on how funny it is for you you can go and watch it yeah bad boys for life okay so there's a few shows now in theaters that hasn't sparked my interest quite but i would go and see the movie fantasy island i haven't watched the trailer for fantasy island yet but i'm going to watch it um a matter of fact i'm going to watch it now and then i'm going to let you know if it is something that i would watch so i'm going to look it up on my phone so that was fantasy island um i would watch it i'm not one for scary movies because i used to love scary movies until i started having nightmares my nightmares are real people I've tried to stay away from watching scary movies, but I would watch that. I would watch Fantasy Island. Um, yeah, so it's about a couple, like it looks as if it's like two couples who went to an island and they were supposed to tell like what fantasy they wanted to, what, what fantasy they want to, you know, to see come through for them. Um, a girl she look like say she want get back on a bully somebody will bully her um one next one seem like she did want to see back her daughter i don't know um but the fantasies turn out to be real they thought it would be fake but it turns out to be real and it's more than what they expected i mean hmm, i would watch it i would watch it so when i watch it i'll come back and give a better review on it um the other show that i saw was the photograph now i've watched the trailer for the photograph i mean hmm. everybody loves a love story and i love love stories so i'm definitely going to watch the photograph i love love stories and it seems like a pretty good love story i mean it seems as if um it's about a girl who doesn't want to become her mother in terms of what love is all about and 
I think I can relate because a lot of times I'm going through stuff and I'm like, you know, say, I feel like I'm turning my mother, my, no, my mommy used to do these things and I would live my life saying that I don't want to become like my mother. I don't want to make the same mistakes that my mother made. And this show is about that. It's like a girl seeing, um, remembering what her mother was like, seeing photographs with her mother. Her mother was afraid to love and no she she's afraid to love and she doesn't want to become like her mother you know but so that is what the show is about some girl who doesn't want to become like her mother and i can relate so i definitely want to see the photograph so two movies i'm going to watch it's fantasy island and the photograph those two there are three other movies in the theater now that i I'm not interested in watching the first one is Emma I don't know what Emma is about I'm gonna find out and let you guys know um, birds of prey I think it has to do something with um, the Joker I think I saw that being advertised and do little do little I think is a movie for kids I would take my son to watch it probably I'll, I'll have to watch the, 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 the trailer first to see what do little is about um, so those are my take on the movies if you guys um want to comment leave a comment you can if there's any other movie that you think is the bomb that you think i should watch you can let me know so i can watch it and then tell you my take on it um yeah and if you think if you want to contradict something that i said that you probably didn't agree with one of my reviews you can go ahead and drop a comment down in the comments box comment box i'm babbling also remember to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you know when i upload new content thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time bye